Hello friends, I'm Svetlin Nako from Soft Unique Global and today I'm very excited because I'm starting a new series in my video channel, the step-by-step -step project tutorials, where we shall develop fully functional projects from scratch, starting from zero and building step-by-step -step until we have a fully functional working software application. My first project will be URL Partner, a web app which collects links and each link has a corresponding short link. Clicking on the short link will open the original link and will count the clicks, just for the statistics. I will build this app from zero to a fully functional web application using JavaScript as a coding language, Node.js as development platform, Express.js as a server-side MVC framework, and Punk as a templating engine. The user interface of the app will be based on plain HTML and CSS, without any front-end frameworks, just plain HTML, and I will build the app step-by-step -step in several video lessons coming one after another. So, are you ready? Let's get into it. Let's start with the app walkthrough where I will show you what we are building, the app functionality. This is basically the home screen of the app, URL shortener which shows how many URLs we have in the database uh, in the app and how many visitors we have already uh, collected, how many clicks we have on the, on the links. These are the links, for example, this is the, the short URL, this is the uh, service based URL, slash go slash not, for example, and this could correspond to something very long. Here it's not quite long, but basically when we click on it, it will open and it will collect the clicks. It was 160 and it increased. So when I click again, it, this number will increase again. And I can add a URL, for example, I can add something something uh, longer, for example, I could have this one and this I can uh, assign a short code for it. I click create and it created this URL. Uh, the short version is this. And once we get a better domain name, not like this, but something like short.us, for example, uh, and without go slash floppy, just short, it will be shorter. When we click on this short URL, uh, it will increase. For example, if I uh, copy the link and I open it like this, like this, it will open this. And if I refresh, it will count how many clicks I already have. That's the app. Also, uh, it has a basic error handling. So that's all. Uh, it's also uh, its UI. It's also friendly for uh, mobile apps. Uh, on, it displays correctly on uh, smaller screens. So that's all. Uh, let's start building the app step by step. Now I will explain the project structure, which will be based on a Node.js project combined with Express.js JavaScript framework for backend MVC apps with MVC architecture and PUC templates. As a technology stack, we will use the following. JavaScript as a programming language, uh, Node.js as a platform, server-side JavaScript, uh, Express.js as a framework, uh, and also uh, it will provide for us the MVC model view controller architectures with controllers, uh, views, and models which provide data to views. You, the user interface will be based on plain HTML and CSS, uh, no modern frameworks here, no CSS frameworks, no Bootstrap, no Angular, no React, etc. And it, I will use a templating engine called Puck. I'll show you how to use it. And later I will add a database, which will be a, a remote cloud database, uh, Google Firebase. And as IDE, uh, I will use an online development environment 
called repo it. Uh, I should explain a little bit uh, about the model view controller. Model view controller is a pattern for building server side web apps where the, the program logic is divided into view. The view shows something on the screen, uh, models and controllers. The controllers take the user actions, the models hold data which is displayed by the view. Basically, controllers collect the user actions such as open a URL or click on the button or submit a form and they mm, do something in the database uh, on the server side, change something and prepare some data and view a model and send the model to the view for rendering and the view shows something on the screen. Uh, the model holds data for the views, uh, for example, when we show URLs, uh, the table of URLs will have an array of URL objects uh, as model and the views display the UI. They are basically a combination of HTML plus CSS rendered by some template in most cases and the view uh, displays its data based on the data model. So I will use Express, which is a server-side MVC framework. We can open Express just to, to see what's inside. So it's basically something like we include the Express framework, then we use uh, create an app, we start listening on certain port with app.listen, and we handle requests, for example, when some web browser opens the home page of our app, we respond with hello world. Uh, we can respond to uh, get and post HTTP requests and also we can handle different endpoints. For example, slash uh, URLs or slash at hyphen URL, for example. And uh, we can uh, you can research yourself this uh, framework, but we'll, uh, we assume that you uh, know how to code with in JavaScript and you have a basic understanding of uh, web apps. So the next thing I should mention is the templating engines. Uh, basically, they are uh, important development concepts, how it's related to rendering data, mostly in HTML, through a template. If we have a template like this one, uh, which basically defines some user interface and uh, we have some templating engine and the template takes some data, for example, this uh, array or object of JavaScript uh, data, it renders an HTML, which HTML uh, displays something, for example, this one or this screen or this screen. So this is how templates work and they are used almost everywhere when we display data uh, in web apps, in mobile apps on, or other places where we have user interface. The Puck Templating Engine is a simple uh, templating engine framework for JavaScript apps. Uh, we, we can open the Bug.js uh, web page and it basically explains how to use this. Uh, but it's not quite interesting here because they don't have very good documentation. Uh, but I will show you this is basically what we write and what is rendered as HTML. So it's a language, Puck is a language, which combines some tags and some special syntax like this one uh, to produce HTML. And you can have a variables uh, which hold some data coming from the mm, controller uh, through the model passed as parameter. So we'll use this and I will tell you how, how this works in more details uh, over the time. But basically we have a home page template which includes a layout template which adds the header and footer for our app. And when we render it, 
uh, the output is an HTML document and this HTML document is displayed by the browser and in our case it will show the URL shortener page, some of the pages of our app. Now it's time to start coding, to create the app structure, to create a repo with project, to create the project folders, to create the index.js uh, main entry point of the application, to create a data layer, a JavaScript file which, which will hold the data, to create a contr MVC controller which will handle the home page, to create an action which will handle the get for the home page, and to create some uh, as a view which will display the home page. Let's start. So first we need to create a project in repo.8. I will start here uh, at this website maybe you you should you can know it repoit.com so i log in and when i log in uh, for example like this i go in my uh, repo and i'll create a new app which will be based on node.js and it will be called your rl shortener maybe with capitals okay i create this app and i have a development environment hmm url shortener one is not very good i'll try to rename this and maybe url shortener without one is busy no it's not busy it's not occupied so i'll have url shortener i cannot start this because it's empty there is nothing and I, sh I will write some code here but let's follow the steps which i have prepared for you which i will give you in my project tutorial uh, later so first we'll need some uh, folders we'll have a controllers folder which will hold the mvc controllers uh, later we'll have uh, the public folder which will hold static files like the CSS, like any external JS libraries we can use like jQuery for example. And we'll have a data folder which will hold the, the app data layer, for example the classes which access the database or something like this. And also we'll have a views folder which will hold the view uh, template engine, the book templates. Okay, let's create these folders. I will create a folder which will be called controllers. Also a folder which will be called, uh, but not inside it, data. Also a folder which will be called views. And also a folder which will be called public, public. We'll use this over the time. And let's get back into index.html and start writing the code. I will first require the express framework. I create a new express framework, express object okay through the constructor and I tell the app that use uh, please use express dot static of public HTML express dot static of public folder so this tells that this public folder will be served directly to the to the web browsers of the custom of the quad okay so i include the library then i create an express instance which will be my app and i tell the app to use this and also i will need to assign a view engine which will be called Puck, the Puck View Engine. And that's all for now. Later, I will load the data layer. 
something like const data equals to re require 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 of current folder slash data slash app data dot js which is basically this file app data dot js so I would from index I would this file okay and I say data dot uh, populate sample data or or seed cell seed it's the term sample data okay I put some data inside and I will mm, continue a little bit later after that I will create the MVC controller and we'll set up const mvc controller const is something which once created will not be changed anymore so it will be require which basically means please load a module uh, from the current folder current project folder from the controller controller with s it, i should rename this controllers slash controllers with s slash uh, mvc controller.js okay i will move this right to have more space and i will need to create this file here mvc controller.js i will finish it a little bit later and after that i will set up the roads mvc controller dot setup of uh, the app and the data layer so this controller will set up uh, something like uh, please create a role route for the home page for the urls endpoint etc 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 uh, if we remember this will be um, okay you you'll see like a little bit later and the next step is to start the server where in the best practice is instead of having a port which is directly uh, specified something like const port equals 8080 it's better to have something like this let's port to be 8080 uh, uh, it's to be uh, process dot of uh, two uh, dot arc, arc the sep the second argument value of two okay and if the port is empty then port equals 88 uh, or I will also try to use process dot environment variables and of port why because if we deploy this in, do in a docker container or in heroku or, or some other uh, server we'll need to pass the port number where the app will be listening uh, through a parameter for the hosting environment and finally uh, we should listen so we say app dot listen uh, the port number and when the listening is started we want to print something like uh, app started on port and for example uh, I will use this syntax because where it works better and door port 
on HTTP at port, something like this. It's not quite important what exactly we shall uh, create, and also it's better uh, started at HTTP localhost slash the port number because it basically uh, runs on certain host and port and if you run this locally this will be what you will what you will see okay I'm not sure why this says that I have a problem here I don't think I have a problem but it looks like an error and terminated template literal. Ah, yes, I have it. I found what's the problem, thanks to the <laughs> editor. And also I can say that if I have an error on, dot, uh, on the event of error, error, uh, I will have a function which will take an error as input and will handle the error but I don't need this because this continues it is the app dot on error and I'll say console dot error dot walk I will print on the error screen. Oh, it's not dot walk console dot error. Uh, I will print an error message that something like uh, port is busy or um, cannot start listening on port and the port number maybe oh sorry oh it takes some time on port and i will use here door of port okay let's start this first it will install the express framework npm install from the node manager not just npm package management repository and of course it says that data doesn't have seed sample data uh, this method and also the controller doesn't have setup but let's try to run this just to see whether it yeah it listens on port 8080 and it doesn't get uh, handle the get request here but we'll fix this okay let's stop it and continue further so the next thing to do is to create the app data the this this one so we'll have uh, let urls equals to array we'll have a, an array of urls the idea is to have then let, let's open the uh, the previous one uh, which is the this one so we'll need an array to hold all these things right so let's create it and i'll have a function seed data or what was the name it should be the same seed sample data okay here which will basically first reset the urls urls.land equals to zero to, to start from an empty uh, and then urls.push an object and the object will be adjacent which will basically hold a url short url let's use the same like here url short code date created and visits url 
short code uh, then date created new date of some date 10 the number of visits for this uh, how many clicks this URL have basically for example eight okay and we may have several such uh, URL dot push so we'll have a URL HTTP for example softuni.org the short code will be SU and the date will be in this format 2022 for example May 27th uh, key uh, 2011 and 5 minutes and 56 sec uh, seconds something like this this is uh, the universal format for dates it's defined by some kind of standard I am not remember exactly and we can copy this and this and put for example nakuf.com my uh, personal website and uh, I will put some another time and also I'll have a for example wikipedia.org but here the short code should be different like wiki for example and it will be uh, for example from December the last year something like this and it has 20 visits so I'm ready with the seed sample data and I should say something like module.exports uh, module dot exports equal I will export this object uh, something like I just uh, export the URLs variable and the seed seed sample data function now this seed sample when I load this up data in this variable it can invoke seed sample data because this is an exported function which is this one okay and we can see whether this works or not like this console dot walk of data dot urls it's always good idea to build your app step by step not to write tons of codes and then run it uh, it's better to to write step by step so just to see whether it works correctly looks like uh, looks like it works very well so we have this one if we, if we clear it and run it again we'll see that we have this array of uh, data so we remove this debug message and we continue later uh, on this mvc controller.js i'll copy this and oh i have it already and i will need to define the controller later it will be some kind of function like functions tab of i will have the first parameter up and the data layer is a second parameter and this will set up my road routes and i'll have module dot exports equals to the setup function and now this function will be called when i uh, run this 
okay uh, when I invoke this and let's fill some logic here it will be something up dot cat of when someone gets this I will call this function something like this let me see a function of request and response okay I can use the classical without without the errors the classical syntax and also I don't have enough space but also I can define here let's count first the visitors uh, then create a model of URLs and visitors and render the home so I will say something like let model equals to something like uh, URLs equals to data.urls okay and visitors 0 for example 50 I I create a sample data it's it's not the real ones because the visitors are not 50 they may be different but this is just to uh, say the response dot render of the home template with this model do you remember the mvc pattern so when someone gets the home page when someone opens here the browser will do get for the home page and this function will be this function will be invoked the HTTP request will be here and in the response we shall render the home home.puck template using of this model which basically holds URLs and 50 uh, visitors okay so the module exports this setup and that's all that's not required so let's continue with the 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 view okay well here in the in the views uh, folder we'll create a new file at the file which will be called home.puck again this one will render home which is this home.puck okay so the index will set up the controller and the controller will handle the get here and it will be prepare the model the parameters to be displayed on the screen and will render the home.puck home.puck holds something like h1 some header uh, url shortener this is basically the same like h1 url uh, shortener slash h1 but it is shorter this is one of the good things in pug that we can uh, write shorter things and if we restart the app maybe we will be ready but we have an error here cannot find module pug how to resolve this we'll go into the package manager here we'll search for a package pug in the npm and we will shall install it like this see npm install pug if you are working locally in for example visual studio code you will need to install the pug locally okay it will be soon ready uh, it's ready and now we can restart our app and voila our app is here the url shortener is here and we should also uh, create a ul 
URL, the URL tag with some list items here, several, and in the first list out item, we'll have short URLs. And this is a binding URLs dot length. This is a binding which basically shows what's inside. Okay, and we will have a URL uh, visitors and the number of visitors. Okay, so let's stop and restart it. And we have uh, these brackets are incorrect. I'll use the correct brackets now. I save and when I refresh, it's not required uh, to refresh everything. You just save and it should work. Uh, it should work. But basically, uh, this doesn't work correctly. You should put this here or use a span or something different because this breaks. Either you use this or you use span and inside the span, <laughs> for example, you should have a tag because the first letter is considered a tag. So we can open this here and we can inspect what's inside just a moment uh, here. And if I inspect this, you have we have HTML, we have body, h1, ul, list item, and in the list item we have spam here. Uh, this is how this works. If we remove the spam, this will be directly in the list item. I refresh and I click F5 and we have ui, ul, and huh, we, share, we have visitors and short tag. Do you see? Because this is how bug works. I have bug here. I should put it just directly after the list item. So we have list item and this is the text to be shown inside the list item. If I click like this, this will be a nested tag inside the list, the list item. But this will be the tag name. So it's, it's not correct. So this is the way it, it, does, it works and it's correct right now okay so let's continue uh, with this i already showed you how you start it with npm install express and how to install the pack module i already uh, demonstrated this to you but i i want to show you this package.json maybe you know this file uh, it holds the metadata, metadata about our project the name Dependencies, for example, I use Paybubble, uh, Parser, uh, and others. Uh, hmm. A lot of dependencies. Where did it come from? No, this is package walk. Sorry. I need to have a package JSON without the walk. Okay. So I have Express, the some maybe the latest version, and Pug some version and that that's all and let's continue there uh, later i will use the let's calculate this value again so i will go back in my mvc controller here and i will try to calculate the visitor something like that visitors equals to zero for for example mm, uh, let uh, URL in URL in in data dot URLs and uh, visitors e equals uh, plus equals uh, URL dot uh, for example dot uh, let me see in the data what I should count I should sum all these numbers right visits this the sum of these three are total visits uh, which should i calculate visits and visitors equals visitors i can write this shortly 
like this. This is just the JavaScript syntax. It can, it will work. Uh, sorry, this doesn't work, but this will work. Uh, okay, let's restart this and see what happens. Visitors, not a number. Ha! Looks like we have a bug. How to debug it? So, looks like this calculation that doesn't work correctly. Okay, how we can uh, debug this? We can just say what's inside this URL, of URL in this loop, and to see whether, for example, console.walk, uh, I'm in the uh, loop uh, or something like calculating total visitors count, something like this, and I restart the app and looks like the app uh, I, maybe I should erase this or this is from the previous time I'm, I'm not sure console is not here okay console should be written correctly now please restart and now I have zero one two ah this URL holds a number. We can also check this through the debugger. I put a breakpoint here with this click and I have a debugger here and I can start in debug mode. Uh, and what will happen is that I, I, I should first, first stop the app and start it here in the debug, in the debug mode. The debugger is attached. So I stopped here. So the URL is the number zero. Ah, it's not URL in data URLs, but it should be of data URLs, of. Sorry, I cannot change the code during the debug session. So if I restart the, de the debug session again, the debugger is attached and now the URL holds what I want. Date created, short code, um, etc, etc, etc. And if I go like this, the visitors will be increased correctly like I expect. Where is it? The Okay, I should go here and see more. Visitors is now 8. It will increase, increase, increase. And let's go ahead. The total sum, I can remove the, will be 61. Okay, we fixed the bug. Uh, it was this one, and we can remove, we can stop the debugger and remove this one. I just wanted to show you how you can debug your code and how you can use breakpoints or console.walk to, to catch the bugs. So I think that's uh, a good start. Uh, here I have some uh, screens to remember that I should show you this one. And we are uh, created the project, uh, the project skeleton. Re let's review. This is the entry project point of the project. It uh, includes the express framework, creates an express app, then set up a static route where we'll basically have here uh, styles.css, uh, but I'll show this later. Uh, and this will be accessible from the um, this uh, place. And we set up the puck engine and we should have the puck as a dependency and express in package uh, JSON as a dependency. Uh, and then we created an, this data layer, which basically holds a list of URLs, which are objects like this. And we export this and we see its sample data because we still don't have a database. Someday we'll have a database, but this will be later. After that, uh, we create this MVC controller 
and we call the setup. Hmm. Go to symbol. It doesn't work. Go to definition. It doesn't work very well, like it you can expect, and it handles the slash the uh, the my domain slash this. If I if I request something like this, it will be sorry I cannot get this, but if I request the home page, it will render correctly. Okay, and later we set up the port number. We can start this on separate uh, port number like npm start, for example, at port 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it will listen, but I should stop it, maybe. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't have start, but I can say note index.js at port 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and it started on different port right now. But it's localhost, but localhost at this machine. This is a separate machine, which is somewhere in the cloud, in the repoit.com cloud. I don't use a local environment. I, I don't need to have a JavaScript uh, and Node.js and uh, development environment locally because I use that this repo.int. And my project is directly hosted here. You can open this and it's in internet. You can open this from your mobile phone or, or directly somewhere else. Uh, okay, so this is how this works. And if I if I start this twice, for example, like this and like this, uh, I will have this cannot start on this port. This it works. So basically this was what I wanted to show you in this first part and uh, we already have displayed this. So what's next? Uh, the next thing to, to see is uh, that we'll have, we'll have some mm, continuation because this is the end of the first part of the uh, Shortener project tutorial. And if you like it, you can join the Werner's community at softunit.org, uh, this one. And uh, to access free coding tutorials, dev courses, mentorship, and many others. We publish regularly many tutorials, projects, uh, code lessons, and many others. And you can have uh, ask a question in our Reddit channel and we will answer you. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications for my next videos. And uh, wait for the part two uh, of this tutorial, which is coming. And I will teach you how to build the UI of the URL shortener app. This is the next part. The controller actions, uh, the pug templates for the pages, also how to build a layout template to reuse for all the pages, and how to st style this with uh, CSS. So check out also my other videos from my channel to learn programming through video tutorials and hands-on exercises I post regularly. And goodbye. See you in my next video.